everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I am the CEO of Rebecca Grace Designs and the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code. So today we're going to be talking about navigation options, specifically adding a secondary navigation into Squarespace 7.1. So in 7.0, under pages, you had a main navigation or a primary navigation and then a secondary navigation option on most templates, um, not all, but most templates had this option. And what that did is it allowed you to style the secondary navigation a little bit differently than the first. And a popular option for this was to have your site title or logo in the center with navigation options on each side. However, in 7.1, um, we only have one spot to put navigation items. If you click into edit your site header, there is different layouts you can do. So let's click over to desktop and look at the different header layout options. You can place your logo or site title in the center. However, it puts the navigation items on one side and a button on the other or the navigation items under um, your site title or logo and a button on the side. So if you don't want a button and you want this layout where you have your site title and logo in the center with navigation items on each side, we need to resort to some custom CSS. So the first thing that you need to do is you do need to select um, this option here to have the logo in the center with the navigation items underneath. So please choose that layout option. This also works best if you do not have a button or social media on the side. So make sure you click back to the global styles and under elements have your buttons and social links and current and everything else turned off. So this works best if you have your site title or logo and then your navigation items. Okay. Once you have that, you're gonna click done and save. Make sure of all the navigation items you want into your main navigation. And then you're going to go to design, custom CSS, and copy and paste the code listed below this video. And you should see your navigations jump up. Now there's a couple things you'll want to do to customize this, especially if you don't have four navigation items. If you have a different number of navigation items, you'll have to do some customizations. So let's look through the code. So first of all, we're, we've applied this only to desktop. So this is not going to affect the mobile version. You'll still have your site title or logo on the side. Okay. So this is only for the desktop version and I've had the header title set to a specific height. This is so that your navigation items and your site title or logo are centered on each other vertically. Um, so you're welcome to change that height. And then I'm using Flexbox to have the items aligned vertically and uh, horizontally in the center. So this sets the header title to be aligned vertically center in its uh, height and also in the center of the page. So there shouldn't be anything that you want to change there besides the um, height. If you have a logo that maybe you've adjusted the height, you can play with that number. Whatever number you put there, make sure you also change it down here because this is the settings for your navigation. And I've set specific heights again so that your navigation items are centered vertically on the site title. So if you don't change this one, then one might be higher than the other. Okay, so what I've done here is for the navigation items, I've set it to again align um, vertically and uh, horizontally centered on this space. So again, there shouldn't be anything really you want to change here besides the height if you change that above. Where you're going to want to change is these numbers here. So I have chosen to set a margin to the right of my second item. So I've put spacing to the right of my second item to push these items to the other side of the site title or logo. So if you do not have four items, you're gonna to want to change this to be the halfway point. So if you have uh, six items, you'll wanna set that to a three and so on. So wherever you want it to be split, the last one you want on this side, that's the number you're going to change there. Okay, so if I change this to a three, you'll notice that the news side, my third item comes here and it puts space after the third item. So wherever you want space, that's where you're going to change. And then this number determines how much space. Um, so I wouldn't go too much larger um, than 50, depending on how many items you have, because they will start to drop underneath. 
but you can change it to be a little bit less if you want them closer or a little bit more if you want them further apart. Just again, be wary as the screen does go down in size, you may have the items drop to a second line. So play with this number to make sure that it looks good on multiple different screen sizes. And then you are done. So again, the only numbers you really might want to uh, change is the height here and here, depending on the size of your logo, if you're using that, where the item is splitting, and any spacing you want to the sides if you want more or less than what I have set here. Then click save and you are done. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are watching this on my blog, then please sign up in the sign up below this so you can be notified when other tutorials are posted. Until then, that is how you add a secondary navigation layout look in Squarespace 7.1.